Welcome to the Oklahoma Studios in downtown Oklahoma City. I'm Ryan Aber, joined by a special guest today, Madison Ward, a volleyball player, but you also do a little bit more uh, than just volleyball for where you play for Oklahoma. Your uh, singing career has taken off a little bit recently with uh, some pretty big time names uh, catching wind of, of what you're able to do with your voice. Uh, yeah, a little bit just recently. <laughs> You had a, tell me what happened. Chad Johnson and D'Angelo Hall found a, a video of you uh, singing that I guess some OU football freshmen uh, took. And what, what uh, happened with that? Yeah, um, I had come back from class. Uh, I was in the cafeteria with one of our freshman girls. And uh, some freshman basketball players and football players walked in. And then they asked me, they said, are you the one that sings? I was like, uh, yeah, I sing. And then they said, okay, could you please, please sing for me? And they put their, their phones out and then started recording. And then I just kind of pushed my food aside and <laughs> sang a little part of a song that I like. And then they put it on Twitter and then it just kind of took off. And then the next day I was getting notifications from a lot of people. And I didn't know that yeah. that was going <laughs> to happen like that. <laughs> What's it been like to, you've been singing for a while and, and got some attention for it, but uh, to to have it spread nationally like that and get some pretty big names uh, viewing your videos. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty neat to think about how powerful social media is like that. <laughs> it's something so simple and unexpected. And then it's, I mean, I had friends from uh, North Dakota oh, yeah. calling and texting me saying, hey, it's up here. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, cool. <laughs> so uh, it's pretty cool. And you played not only volleyball, but a lot of sports growing up in Lawton. You went to high school at Cash. Yeah. Uh, what, volleyball, golf? Yeah, uh, ran track to um, basketball. When did you first start realizing that uh, while you love all those other sports, and obviously you're very good at a lot of them, including oh, thank volleyball. You. Thank you. Uh, when did you start realizing that singing was something that uh, you wanted to do more than just uh, just messing around every once in a while? Uh, actually, getting into college, really the beginning of college, I was thinking that because um, I started to write a lot more. I really, I really do write a lot, and I've written a lot more in college than I did in high school, and uh, poetry specifically. I really have had a heart for that for a while now, and with that, I kind of do the backwards version for making music. <laughs> I write it, and then, and then I come up with the melody or the, yeah. the tune to come with that. So. I guess that's the reverse of what people are used to. <laughs> What's your writing process like? What uh, do you always carry around a notepad and yeah. write down stuff uh, as you? Yeah, different journals. Um, usually, it's either that or I'm jotting stuff down on my phone. Um, just things that inspire me or things that kind of touch my heart in yeah. some way. I usually write about. <laughs> You're going to sing a song for us in a minute. Tell us about that song and maybe uh, a little bit about writing that that particular song. Um, it's actually kind of funny because this song was written after I had gotten upset about a guy. <laughs> well, that's like, how a lot what? of music comes from, right? I was right? like, I want to make a song. This is a this is the first time around. Here we go. Like, <laughs> I hope he hears this. And it was just, it was pretty cool because I got to sing it at a coffee house not that long after that. Oh, yeah. And um, some of the volleyball team showed up and they were aware of the situation and it was like a hit. They were singing the words with me and oh, it was yeah. just really, really cool. Yeah. As a as a singer and as a songwriter, what's that like to hear people sing your song and and know the words and, and the meaning behind it? I think that's one of the coolest feelings in the world. That's pretty empowering. It's like the ultimate support group <laughs> to have that, and then especially people that I know too. Oh my gosh, that's just awesome. You recently took a trip to California, I understand, mm -hmm. to, to visit a, a former teammate at uh -huh. OU and uh, got to, to do something that you've wanted to do for a while, visit uh, a, a place and, and hear poetry. Tell me a little bit about that. I did. Um, I had been wanting to go to a place called The Poetry Lounge, <laughs> and it's in California. And when I was out there that week, they were having the show. And so I told Haley, my friend I was with, I was like, okay, we have to go to this. I don't care what we're doing. We're going. <laughs> we're checking it out. And so we went, and I got to sit underneath, like, one of the greatest spoken word poets that had come through there and just watched him. And I was just like, this is unreal. <laughs> I'm here because I had only watched the videos online, and I've just kept up with that place because yeah. I've heard some really, really great stuff come out of there. So. And what does experiencing something like that do for your songwriting as you, you – take that creativity uh, from that and I, I would imagine that uh, spurs some of your your own creativity 
Oh yeah. I mean, it takes it to a whole nother level. I left there and I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I gotta start writing. <laughs> this has just been incredible. And I did, I wrote all the way home and I just got a lot of good content because of other people that have inspired me and all the creativity that I've been around recently too. So it's very, very great. Now tell us the name of the song you're gonna sing. Okay, this song is called uh, No Thanks to You. All right, well, <laughs> Madison Ward, No Thanks to You. <laughs> It's getting easier for getting about you When I sit here and think about all the dirty things you used to do And I can't stand it, baby I hate that I gave you my heart So I'm taking it back Way back to the very start I didn't have to meet you For my life to be good so I'm moving on in all the ways that I should And I'm much stronger, baby you better believe I'm wiser too I'm feeling good now No, 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 no Thanks to you, baby No, 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 no when you came into my life, I was looking for a man who would love me and hold me and tell me the truth and would walk with me hand in hand. But you lied to me from the start and you left me all alone. But I got back on my feet and I turned it around. Now I'm so glad that you've been long gone. It's getting easy, baby. To smile and laugh like I used to do It makes me happy, baby That I can do it all without you I'm feeling fine I'm feeling good No, 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 no No, 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 no No, thanks to you, baby That's great. Thank you.